Turkish artist Refik Anadol makes data paintings and data sculptures using customized software to turn data sets into art. So what you are watching here is, for example, this one. It's literally taking 300 million raw image archive from nature and reconstructing a data sculpture. Anadol says artificial intelligence is an artistic tool. Let's imagine a million images of like all the flowers in the world. There is no single way to remember all the flowers in the world. But with AI algorithm, I can easily say that in this AI model, there's all the flower types in this AI model. Now, I want to imagine a brush that I can put in this mind of a machine and paint with this pigmentation. The Los Angeles-based artist used AI at the Museum of Modern Art in New York to create new art from a collection of more than 200 years of art. Machine learning also captures changes in the art's environment, including audience reactions, and evolves in real time. University of California neuroscientist Taylor Kuhn tracked the brain activity of volunteers watching Anadol's art. So there was something about AI art that seemed to engage the somatosensory area, so there's something kind of not just visual about it, but also somatic, kind of a body feeling about the art. It seemed to be more than just one modality. Right? It engaged different sensory regions in the brain. And in doing so, it also engaged kind of this region of the brain involved in planning uh, or creative thought. Hume says that could lead to therapeutic applications for artificial intelligence in art, engaging parts of the brain known to help regulate stress or reduce anxiety. Jenny Adulo, VOA News, Los Angeles. Thank <laughs> you.